Hi, so if I created here a bunch of VMs on the resource manager and I'm gonna pick the first one here and show you how to set up access via RDP. So I'm gonna click here, network interfaces under settings in VM. And I'm gonna click on this uh, IP address or this network interface here. And you'll see under network security groups, I can create one here. I'm going to show you some of the settings that I've added to enable the RDP. So I'm going to click here, inbound security rules. And I have two rules here, uh, default allow RDP, which is to allow port 3389. So you'll have to enable port 3389, just uh, have the exact settings I have here. And this will allow you to RDP uh, via a domain name. So you have to set up your domain name also, which is slightly different from what you've done in the past with the classic VMs. So in order to do that, once you've set up this network security group, so the network security group here is a policy. You could think of it as a bunch of allowable port settings. It's a policy that you could assign to many VMs. So in my case, my VM is Firestorm and the network security group is also named Firestorm, but this Firestorm network security group can be shared among different VMs. Now, to get a domain name here, I'm gonna click on this public IP address, and you'll notice I have a, a DNS name, and the way I configured that is I click on configuration under the public IP address and I put in Firestorms and this is my fully qualified domain name which is the uh, domain name that I am going to log into under the Azure DNS. So now your, your uh, VM is publicly available and when I log in it will prompt me. and I could simply log into the VM. So there you go, that, that is how you log into a VM by setting up your RDP and setting up your DNS. And I hope this helps and thank you for watching.